Sorry? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm recording. Nope. No, yes, I am. You can't? <laughs> no, I can't. No, you can't? I can. No, you can't. Okay. Do, do you have permission to do that? I'm sorry? Do you have permission to do that? Were you talking about divorce? I can't imagine why. Huh? You heard what I said. <laughs> I'm a fairly protected victim. Well, if you're in the witness protection, you should not be in public. So, today we are at the South Carolina DMV. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Well, I think we're gonna head in here. And what other forms you said that you? No, that's the original. Okay, do you have a? Testing area. Number one. Camera station. Now serving chance 0008 at station 16. Sorry? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm recording. Nope. No, yes, I am. Okay? <laughs> no, I can. Okay? I can. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna sit there and go back and forth all day and have a circular conversation. There goes the big guy. Definitely, uh, definitely going to tell the teacher on me. Serving me, 0063 at station 7. Make sure you don't get personal information on there. Not interested in any of that, man. And hopefully they allow you. I know you can tape us, but if they don't want it, oh really? If they tell you you can't. Why do you think that? We're state employees. We can be taped. Absolutely. But they're individuals. Yeah. Is this a public building? Um, for in, for state employees, yes. But that's their personal information. Not ours. Okay. All right. Cool. I can't stop. Like okay, I said, I'm I can't stop you. Yeah. For us. Just don't get that. Neither can they. So. Well, that was a swift change of attitude. Now serving us. Zero, zero, one, six. Just out of curiosity, what's that guy's name? What's his name? Andrew. I'm sorry? Andrew. Andrew? Yeah. All right, thank you. Hey, you know, it's, it's all right, you know. You, you did, you pretty much did the right thing, you know. You didn't know what was going on, and you went and talked to somebody, and uh, you came out with a swift change of attitude, I'll tell you that. So, so you should know, man. You took, you took an oath to uphold him, too, so... Oh, yeah. You should know. <laughs> All right. Now serving as 0017 at station 9.
Yeah. What was your name, by the way? Andrew. Andrew. Nice to meet you. What, what's, what's your position? I'm a supervisor. Supervisor. Yeah, awesome. I, I wasn't here to stop or anything. Just trying to, you know, put personal information. Yeah. Not in, not interested in anybody's personal That's information, man. About. You got it. Take a trip over the other side. Not too bad. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Do, do you have permission to do that? I'm sorry? Do you have permission to do that? From who? From the people in here? I don't need it. But, <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Anything you can see, you can do. I mean, I'm not, I'm not doing anything sketchy. I mean, you can video me all day long. But. I mean, that's the third person you said something to. That seems a little sketchy. I'm just, I'm, we're all concerned. It seems like it's just you. Okay. You guys know a lot more than the cops do around here. It's wild. It's fan that's fantastic. Right. It is what it is. That's very odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. They gave me a lot. I got more. I don't know. So she's not worried about it. She's still talking about it. They rode and that's my son's funeral. About there's six of us in 115 wow. degree heat index. And they told me my mother wasn't the most recurring and decided to basically trash a joke and contact the state. What do you mean? You're right. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know you've been you've been extremely professional, man. I appreciate it. Were you talking about divorce? I can't imagine why. Huh? You heard what I said. 
Say what? Okay. You heard what I said. Huh? You heard what I said. Should I, do, should I put my hair up or down? I didn't hear what you said. You said I can't imagine why you're talking about divorce. Who's talking about divorce? <laughs> Take these, man. Sorry, man. No, you're all good. You're all good. It's so funny. It's so funny. For someone who is so not worried about it, she seems to make a lot of comments and worry about it the whole time. Thank you. Have a good day. Stay safe. So look, if you want to write it down, I'm going to be out of here in a few minutes. But first of all, I want to thank you for your professionalism and your knowledge. And uh, well, I, trying to keep a cool, calm, and collected. Well, I was just trying to protect the, the innocence, like the kids and stuff. For us, they record a lot. Yeah. Um, here, um, we'll give you a pen. It's, you, you just write it down. It's First Amendment Protection Agency. No, it's my, that's YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Just go yes, to sir. that website and Yes, YouTube. sir. Right. Yes, sir. Gotcha, thank you. All right, you got it. But yeah, again, thank you. I appreciate your uh, appreciate your knowledge, and uh, you know. It's not perfect, but we try our best. Hey, well, you try a lot harder than most people do. I'll tell you that. Appreciate so. You got it again. What was that guy's name that I spoke to right in the beginning? Uh, probably Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, he didn't know much. It's all good, man. I just I just want to, you know, it, that's that's a normal thing. That's a very normal thing. And when people don't know much, they usually just take the assumption route as if they do, and they go and try to enforce laws that don't exist. So he did the smarter thing. He went to somebody that knew, and he came back with a different attitude. So I'm going to go over there and thank him for that, because that's, that's a lot different than what I see, too. So we, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You as well, Andrew. Stay one or two more minutes here. Sorry? I'll I'll talk to you when I'm done. I Permission for our, our in a state government office, we have to get permission if you're being attacked. No, you don't. It's legal and it's open, place open to the public, whether it makes you uncomfortable or not. <laughs> this guy knows you're more than federally most protected. Of the the don't trump, trump no, I'm not a felony, I'm a Victim. Well, if you're in the witness and protection, you should not, not be in public. Exactly in then you should not go into the public, ma'am. That's my. You're on cameras everywhere in here. This is like the 19th one in this room. I have the number, I didn't hear the Mr. Ralph, I just wanted to come over here and say thank you for acting the way you did. When people don't know things, what they usually do is just start spewing nonsense and telling people what to do when they have no idea what they're talking about. So, you know, you came up to me, 
there was a little little conflict in the beginning, but what you did was you didn't know, so you went and talked to somebody that did, and you got the right you got the right mindset, and you came back with a complete change of attitude. So I want to thank you for that, and uh, you know when you see this thing again, now you know what to do. Now you know how to handle it. In the military, okay. I was Oh, okay. Understandable, man. Well, I appreciate your service. I thank you very much for it. You have. You have a different kind of different set of different set of cojones than I do to do what you did. I'll tell you that. So you know, I, I put much respect on that. Put much respect on that. I wish I could do something like that. I just don't think I could. I just don't think I could. You know. So. Yeah. Same. But thank you very much for your service and thank you for uh, you know settling things. I'm glad. And you know what? I want to say something. Now that we're on a cooler level and I can actually talk to you, I really like your accent. I really like it. It's very. <laughs> You take it easy, Ralph, all right? Thank you very much. You have a good day. All right, guys. There was that. There was the uh, Columbia DMV. Yeah, so that was a good one. We had a, had a, little, bit of, had a little bit of conflict in the beginning with uh, Ralph not really knowing what was going on and uh, gave me a reason for it, but it is what it is. Um, and then he went and got somebody that knew what they were talking about. And, uh, you know, he came out completely changed, completely changed attitude, 180 degree difference. And uh, that's what we like to see. We like to see somebody that learns something every day, including myself. So I hope you guys learned something. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for more good content. Be ready. Be ready for the next one.